Hi, I'm Rafael McGregor, a lap steel guitarist based in Brooklyn, New York, and co-founder of the Steel Guitar on Convention. I'm going to show you two things today. One is how to hold the bar, and the other is how to do forward and reverse slants. Okay, so to begin with, when you hold the bar, the key with that is that you're not really holding the bar. The strings are holding the bar, so you don't put any pressure on it at all. You just let your back fingers behind the bar, flat on the strings, your thumb in front of the bar, also down on the strings, and then a lot of people tend to put their index finger flat on the top of it. I think this is a bad idea. It creates lots of strain in your muscles, especially your wrist. So just put the very, very tip of your finger on the bar there, and this makes a lot less strain, and also makes it a lot easier when you go into single string mounts like that. Now for the slants, here's what I do. Again, I think this is a really efficient way to do it, and to get a good sound. So I just go like this. I don't move the wrist, I don't move the elbow, I don't move the shoulder, I just turn the bar. And that way I'm using my back fingers to sort of push the bar forward, my thumb to guide the bar backwards, and I get a nice sound with hardly any work at all. And then reverse slants, I recommend that you get a tone bar that has a dimple in the back like this, because then what you can do is just go like this. You just stick your thumb in the dimple, push it forward, and then pull it back into position. And then when you put all that together, you can do uh, riffs up and down the scale, like... Alright, thanks for listening.